Okay, here I'm looking at the Cowboy 6900 and it's a fantastic machine for doing a lot of the type of work that I do. Um, can handle quite a thick thread and basically go through quite a lot of thickness. I've done some other videos before that would show that. But one of the problems that happens with a lot of these cylinder machines is they come with this table, a you know, standard table, quite often. And the issue you have to take into account when you're buying a cylinder machine is you want to be able to use everything around the cylinder. And in this case, as an example, you see when I put this bag in, okay, I can get it in, stitch it up, but then you get to the back. I'll try and get this in a position to show. There's no way I can turn the bag to be able to stitch it any longer. Also, this edge is too close to be able to allow a bag of this width, and particularly if you're a wider width bag, the table over here is in the way. Equally, if you want to get to the bottom of the bag and stitch it, pull the guide up, come up, you'll see that the table over here is also going to stop me from being able to get very far in. Basically, that far into the cylinder. So it doesn't matter how long the arm of the cylinder in is if it, the table is not going to let you get there. So what I'm going to do today is take this particular head off and reset it up over on this table. This table, initially in the pictures I thought it would be just a tinny little thing and it is about a hundred odd dollars dearer than the table on that machine. So that's something to take into account in your budget. But this is a solid piece of steel down the bottom. It's actually quite heavy and is solid as hell. Um, so strength-wise and that, there's certainly no issue at all in using it. Um, so I'll come back a little bit later after I've set this up and we'll have a look and see how I go stitching the top line of this bag. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here we are again. She's all set up on the new table. Hopefully everything ready to go all right. I'm about to stitch this bag as you see. You still have a fair amount of room to be able to put um, stuff on if you want. You don't need it over here as I was saying where you need the job to be able to operate. I'll just pass the camera on to Mary to film me and we'll have a go at doing this bag. Okay. Anything on. I did a little bit of test before to make sure the tension and everything was looking alright for this job and um, the same sort of leather which is always a good practice before you start okay as you see here now if you hop back a little bit look there's plenty of room there's nothing to stop you if your bag was this long or that long 
Okay. So it's for eat and then draw it to go. Check, make sure the switching's looking right. Not too bad. Okay. Look about the right distance apart. Yeah. That is the right thread. <laughs> A little bit better than hand stitching, I guess. And really, it's a lot better than a lot of other machines for this sort of job, too. Slide on there and 